you know if your no, grand no. if if your granddaughter wanted to join the family business and said i want to uh, no no know, so no. i used to tell these girls that you must attempt joining the family business mm. and after they came back they realized they they try they, she tried she mm. went to the jsw energy board and she said i'm i'm just not interested it's not my fashion you know in that sense steel is not an easy business right yeah. from the outside it looks very easy you sort of diversified built it into a multi billion empire from what your father started with small buckets i think in in hisar yeah. uh, is it is it from the was that your passion that you want to build this big steel empire so yeah so uh, uh, you know i was when i was growing up in hisar my father was building this steel mill and uh, was ever expanding it but in a very small way at that time india was very small right so um, so i i grew up watching him working very hard and uh, but i really enjoyed it you know the industrial setup and though it was small at that time but i really enjoyed it and that stayed in with me and when i was doing my engineering i really wanted to make it big in steel business and when i wanted to set up my first steel plant I went to my dad and I said that I want to set up the steel plant. He said, "Are you crazy? You know, steel plant is is not a joke. You know, you will you will uh, develop a blood pressure, you will have diabetes, and you will lose your sleep, lose your appetite. I don't want you to do that. You must enjoy your life, and we have now enough. Why do you want to do all that?" So, so that day I got a little depressed, and next day again morning I went to him. No, no, dad, but I really, I really want, and I've got this uh, a great idea, and I want to do it. he said okay if you really want to do it and you are okay to live with all these uh, problems which i have uh, yesterday told you then you go ahead but uh, but i don't don't expect anything great from me or your brothers if you want to do it is it will be your uh, own baby you will you will swim or drown with it you know don't think if you fail then you can come back to hisar and i'll give you one one room in the in the house and one room in the office you can spend your life there yeah so he gave me carrot and stick both no, interesting because you know there is a, 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 you find that a lot of uh, family businesses are caught between do we go and stick with the old economy or do we turn to the new economy businesses increasingly you know is that is that a battle would you be as keen as he was with uh, his father to say dad i want to expand the steel business or are you more inclined to say i want to diversify into new areas where i'm more comfortable with No, I think I think it's a bit of both because if you look at the core strength of the family and the core strength of the group, it is steel, and there is such a large opportunity in India. So, and India is going to continue to need steel for so many more years, and the amount of expansion, the amount of growth that's happening, steel is going to be very relevant. So, we are the leaders in it. So, why go away from that? However, at the same time, we have to continue to remain relevant. So, we have to move into new businesses. so we got in now into the cement business which is also an old economy business but it's linked to the steel business paint is a completely new business that we've entered and now we're starting a building materials online platform as well so it's very important to remain relevant so and i also personally really enjoy uh, you know these businesses whenever i go to the steel plant and i see what mom and dad have built uh it's truly inspirational to see that size that scale otherwise you know just being on a computer and building online things it's exciting but but to see a steel plant and and to see a manufacturing setup like that is really exciting you know the reason i where i'm coming from is that uh, you went to cathedral all of you went to cathedral south mumbai school versus hisar where you went is a huge you know cultural shock in a way so many young people tell me you know we are more comfortable in the digital world than the old bricks and mortar steel industry yeah. did you give him any piece of advice when he was no i mean i mean uh, no I, you know i don't believe in giving too many advices and neither did my father he yeah. never yeah. never told me don't do this or do that sink and swim a sink or yeah, swim yeah yeah it's your baby you you do if you if you yeah uh, sink or swim exactly so that's what i also when he finished from harvard and came back i told him that listen uh, buddy you are we are actually buddies and i'm also young and i'm not going to give up my business so steel is my baby so you got to start something and i have these uh, these uh, other other industries or you build your own so that's what he started cement and paint and sports and now many other new ideas like online and all he's doing similarly she she decided to do fashion and i first year because she is the oldest so most of the experiments both of us done on her <laughs> she was the one you experimented yeah, on yeah experimented on and then failed and then thereafter we left them alone 
So, uh, so we told her that, you know, why don't you uh, join me in the steel business or do something, you know, uh, in the... She, she said, no, Dad, I want to do what, what I enjoy the most. So she started with some fashion boutique where, which she didn't succeed and then she wanted to do something else. I said, okay, do what, what you like. So now I take steel, cement, paint and I do architecture. And you do architecture and you've got sort of housing projects coming yes, up. Yes, and I take commodity industries and I make them into luxury products. So. so there's always a link somewhere down the way. You're doing education which is very much part of your foundation. Are you the glue that holds all of them together? Yes. Are you, are you the one? I'm the only one. Huh? Yeah. She's, she's the? 100%. Hey, 98%, 2%. Yeah, yeah, something. You've got to give something to your dad. Some credit yeah, yeah. to me also, man.